when I was at school I used to love running 800 meters or 1200 meters and on the last sports day that we had I ended up coming second and since then I've always had this sense of I didn't reach my potential and I've got unfinished business and since then I've also run on a regular basis and in recent years I usually run about five or six miles and about a month ago when I was in town I ended up seeing this sign that said that the road would be closed because in a few days there would be a half marathon and there's been other moments when I've thought about running a half marathon and taking part in certain events but I haven't taken the next step and this time because I'd just been swimming in the sea I thought well perhaps it's time for me to have a go and to run this half marathon and over the next few days or the next day I was weighing up whether I should do it or not and if I was ready and then I thought right let's go for it and I ended up getting these energy chews and a special drink and so I was all prepared and when I went down there I was part of me was thinking that I wanted to win the race and part of me was concerned that I wouldn't complete it and so I did a fair amount of research and I read online that the first part should be run with someone's head, the second part with their personality and the third part with their heart. So I very much took this to heart and for most of the race I did run it with my head because my greatest concern would be that I would end up being totally knackered and I won't complete it but as I said I usually run about six miles and at the beginning of the year I ended up running 10 miles I didn't plan to but was just checking out a new route and then at the end I thought wow I've just run 10 miles and I didn't feel completely dead so I took all these factors into consideration and I thought yeah I can I can do this so in the beginning I paced myself and then when I got to the halfway point I was feeling quite tired but I kept going and then towards the end I did speed up but although most of the track was flat at the end of it there was this small hill and this was an absolute killer but I kept going very slowly and when I looked up at the top there was no one ahead of me so I didn't see the point in really going for it and as I said I was quite knackered and I kept going and I ended up getting a time of 1.52 and at the end I wasn't completely exhausted so I took this as a good sign and then a few minutes later as the time went by I was a bit angry and frustrated because I thought that I could have done a lot better and then I messaged a friend and he said well this is your first one you've done well next time you'll do a lot better and after this I ended up looking online for more races and, and there was a half marathon that was a castle run and this sounded amazing but it was booked up fortunately because as it was only a week later I don't think I was really ready to be doing another one that could have caused myself a lot of damage and so I found another one that was three weeks later and this time I was feeling confident and excited because I knew that I had what it took to run a half marathon so this time after I'd run the first one I spent many days analyzing the race and what I could have done differently and looking at what approach I needed to take next time and so this time when I started the race I started going a bit faster from the beginning and I knew this time I wasn't just there just to try it out and to have a go I was there to do well and there was a point where I got to a road and I remembered this road because when I had gone to a castle I drove past this area and I thought that that was interesting and this gave me a boost and so when I got to around the seven mile point I was speeding up a bit more and I ended up getting close to hitting the wall so I wasn't completely knackered but I was definitely feeling it and at this point I imagined my late father, my grandfather and two uncles had also passed on and it was like they said to me we can support you but we can't run it for you 
and at this point more energy came in and I just went again and as this course was called an undulated course it was lots of little hills so even though I had this boost of energy I soon ended up feeling knackered again and then I just kept going kept going and then I had another boost and then I came to see that there was about two miles left so I kept going kept going and then just as I got close to the finish line I was knackered I was ready to stop and I've seen some of the pictures because there was a photographer there who took pictures around three miles six miles nine and then at the end and at the end not only did I feel knackered I looked totally knackered and but at the same time I thought well I've done so well I didn't want to stop I have to keep going but I just it was gone but as I looked I was gone should I say and I looked up and it said around one three something and I thought well this is really good I've done well and so this time I got one three nine so I was very pleased with that and at the end I needed some time to really calm down and decompress but this time my body was not as knackered as it was last time which was interesting because I didn't do a great deal of running after the first one so that was interesting but I did load up on more carbs so I think that helped and after the first half marathon I felt confident and capable and I thought what else am I capable of achieving so with that said if you ever run a half marathon or a marathon to me right now a marathon seems too far but if you have let me know the impact that it had on you and how it affected your confidence levels and your level of self-belief because it would be good to hear your thoughts and also if you've got any tips please let me know and it would be great to hear from you.